coronavirus continues to alter our way of life. For some, it's limited capacity in restaurants. For others, it's working from home. But for one industry, it has shut down everything they can do. Most people in the performing arts industry just waiting until they can hold shows safely again. Channel 11's Ryan Houston shows us that this is impacting people all around our area and could have a huge fallout. These four women are preparing for their dinner theater show, A Tap at a Christmas. Sugar in the morning, sugar in the evening, sugar at supper time. They're performing the musical at the Lamplighter in Delmont. The ladies are part of the Orchard Performing Arts Company and would normally perform at the Apple Hill Playhouse. But the owner of the Playhouse, Pat Beyer, told me by phone she's selling it because of COVID-19 and other upgrades that are needed. Westmoreland County has been hit pretty hard with the pandemic as far as the arts go. Uh, it's hard to do things remotely and to stream things because of the technology issues. Tina Lapidus Stewart is the artistic director for the show. She says the pandemic has almost ended the performing arts scene for adults and high school students in the area. I can't wait till everybody can get back to performing and and creating art again. This has just been devastating to our theater community and more than 20 miles west in downtown Pittsburgh. We're not going to be able to open until it's really safe to do so in full capacity. Kevin McMahon is the president and CEO of the Pittsburgh Cultural Trust. It's a nonprofit arts group that works to make the arts more accessible to the Steel City. The trust is responsible for revitalizing a 14 block area in downtown with theaters, symphonies and so much more. We don't have the, the productions. We don't have the audiences, um, and it's it's been very, very difficult, particularly financially for the cultural trust. McMahon says COVID-19 is costing his organization big time. They've had to lay off half of their staff and cut the pay of those who are left. He tells me the pandemic as a whole could cost them $50 million from their budget. They've had to cancel all shows at places like the Benedum Center, the O'Reilly Theater, and the Harris Theater for 2019. Not a, not a pretty picture, not a, is it? it's not a very pretty picture. Also, the Cultural Trust normally pays $700,000 to $900,000 a year in taxes for the Theater Square parking garage to the city of Pittsburgh. And it sat empty since mid-March. The restaurants, hotels, and bars that normally benefit from the extra foot traffic downtown are also being hurt financially. You still have a lot of expenses. That, and we manage over 1 million square feet of real estate at the Cultural Trust. And we have a lot of fixed costs that don't go away just because the theaters are dark. And McMahon says his organization is surviving on donations right now. And if you would like to help them bring arts back to the city, head over to our website for more details. Ryan Houston, Channel 11 News.